Hello everyone. Today's video is about the pagan on high bar. The pagan is a double front with a half twist over the bar. And it was first done by Alias Pagan of Slovenia. Just to introduce the skill, I'm going to show off a couple of mine. Um, I started doing this skill when I was about 15 or 16 years old. Um, let me just finish the sequence up. Here we go again. And I'm now 29. And I still can't really do it at will. Um, I need to be either buzzed up on caffeine or really need to be feeling good to get enough height for for the catch. Which I don't understand because I've been doing it for so long and I feel like it doesn't matter how hard I try to giant or how hard I try to tap. It's just not enough to, to make it easy. So here's Alias Pagan way back in 93 when I was two years old. This guy was connecting catchers and competing pagans when I was two years old. That's uh, that's hard to believe. And he is, of course, the creator of the skill. He did it first. Here's another clip into a Rebelco. But you can tell that the feel for it is just unreal. It's so beautiful. There's a tiny leg split, but it's so smooth. It just looks easy for him. Next is Velasius Maras from Greece. He did the skill in the pike position way back in 2006. And he competed it that year. And then since then, he's only ever been doing it tucked, which just shows you how hard the skill is. Um, the height on this bad boy is unreal. Um, again, I don't know how these guys generate the height that they do. It has to be the extension away from the bar, the speed of the giant, and how hard they, they tap or kick. But like I said, no matter how hard I go, like look at that, that's that's way over a meter. So next we have Huan Min Si from China. Um, and this is only the tuck version, but the style is, I mean, you can see the smoothness of the giant. Something's just different about it. And the height, I, I don't think he loses to Maris in height. And I'm confident that if he tried it in Pike, he'd be able to do it. Now, one thing I noticed with this guy is when he taps and releases the bar, it's all, almost like his shoulders are indicating forwards. Um, so if you take a look at how much time he has there and compare it to... So this is probably one of my better ones. It's like I just get the hands on in the last second. I'm going as hard as I can, but still just barely have enough air time to to get it done and shout out to Momo there for for all the support that she gave me during during me struggles um, so that's it for today I'm gonna leave you guys with a few clips of some of my better pagans and some of my Maras attempts I never caught the Maras um, but you know who knows if I if I keep going maybe one day I'll figure out what I'm missing and if you guys see something then please let me know because I have no clue what to do to get this thing to to go higher and to spin faster much love and until next time Hey, baby. You yeah, buddy.